Hi guys, how are you? Today I really wanted to talk with you some really important things that we should know uh, when is the time to choose your right surf kit and it's really important to know about your equipment and uh, what can be the best setup for you so we're going to start with about the wheelbase which is super important and there's a lot of information out there that sometimes could be a little bit confusing so basically longer wheelbase will be a surf case is going to be a bit more smooth, more carry long carbs and a bit more stable and a little bit more fast maybe. Shorter wheelbase, a lot more responsive, a lot more reactive, but the carving mode is going to be a bit more shorter movement, so you need to choose what is your best setup. So longer wheelbase is really nice to go downhill and like powerful rail to rail turns and more a shorter wheelbase if you want to go for a skate park a park or do really tight turns on the pocket that will be a lot more responsive a little more skateboard normal skateboard feeling but as you can see i only work with your surf skate this is not publicity it's just i take the decision to try to get in contact with them because for in my opinion are the best out there I'm not saying that other brands are really good, which they are really good, but Yo, in my opinion, gives you a really big variety of design, wheelbase, length of deck, uh, which is really good, so you, you can somehow fit for your own style. So, talking about wheelbase, and one thing why I work with Yo and I love this Meraki system is, even though in a this board that is a 20 wheelbase, this is a Puka Stark, it's a 20 wheelbase, kind of like a long wheelbase. Because of the Meraki system is so nice, such a, such a really nice freedom of movement. It's kind of a really good system, like Meraki. You can still do a lot, really, really tight turns with a longer wheelbase, which is really nice because it's a nice tightly surfing and you can push hard, really hard on your rails. That if you go on a shorter wheelbase, yes, of course you can push hard on your, tail, on your rails, but it will be a lot easier to turn, to do tight turns on a shorter wheelbase. So if you want to have some kind of powerful, powerful surf skating training, with Meraki, a longer wheelbase is really, really a good idea. So we talk a little bit about wheelbase, shorter wheelbase, a lot more reacted, carving more on the pocket, longer wheelbase, nice and long lines a bit more speed, a bit more stable, but doesn't mean that you cannot push out on the rails. Now we're going to talk about length deck, which is super important. I really like to work with 34, more or less, length deck. The Puka Stark is 34 and a half, but here you can see the Contiki, the Padam Padam, the Chopu, and the Puka Stark. The Puka Stark is a 20 wheelbase, a 34 and a half deck. The Chopu is a 19 wheelbase, but it's a 34 deck. The Padang Padang is 18 and a half wheelbase and a 34 deck, a bit more responsive. And the Contiki, super responsive, is 17 wheelbase, 34 deck, and a double concave, double rocker. Why I, I really like to have longer decks? Because if you are keen on surfing, not just surf skating, and even though in surf skating, I think you should have quite a wide stance. Why do you, you should have a wide stance? Even more a guy like me, I'm quite tall, I'm 6'1", 185 tall. Wide stance because it's super important, really, really important to be able to put your back knee inside. I'm a regular, so my back foot is my right foot. So your back knee, if you manage to rotate your back knee and put it inside, as you can see, right away, my upper body rotates and face, I'm facing whatever the skateboard or the surfboard, if we're thinking about training surfing, whatever I want to go. So it's super important to have a stance. Your back foot, more or less 90 degrees, quite flat, good compression in your board. But it's really important to have your front foot, more or less, it's not a perfect science, but 45 degrees. Why? If I have it the same like my back foot, my knees, which is my lower body, is facing that way, and I want to go that way, following the nose of the board. So, if I, my front foot is 45 degrees, then it's a lot easier to rotate my back knee, rotate my upper body, and I'm not gonna, I can avoid any kind of injuries here. And that gives me a really good view wherever I want to go, and I can use 
really good, which is your inside rail or outside rail or your toe rail or heel rail. So a wider stance, if I have a longer deck, is super important. And then with a back knee inside, that helps me to go in a really, really low center of gravity without forcing my hips and my back. I can just do this rotation and I can go super low using my full feet or my toes on your back foot. You can go super low and up and that you can push really hard on your rails without forcing your hips or your back, without putting your head off the center of the world like this. No, lower center of gravity, rotation, facing forward, go low, push hard on the rails. So that's why a wider stance and a longer deck is really, really important. So back to length deck. This is a great example. This is an RDO. It's a 32 and a half deck and a 19 wheelbase. This is the Aris Aremburu. And it's a great board, but not maybe the best for me because, uh, like I said before, I'm a 6'1", 185 tall. And because it's a 19 wheelbase, the front track is quite near the nose. So my stance has to be a, bit, a lot more narrow, more short. And I have a 45 massive foot. So I like to have a bit more area on the nose. So it's still really nice, but that makes me my stance not that wide or put my back foot a little bit more on the tail. And in self-skating, we try to avoid tic-tac, like a normal skateboard, tic tacking The idea is to have always four wheels on the ground, always four wheels on the ground, so you can go, must go only on your rails, rail to rail. And yeah, when you get quite a higher level and you want to do a really 12 o'clock turns in a ramp, yeah, we can do a little bit of tic tacking and put your snow up and release your tail. But, so, there's nothing wrong with this board. It's just maybe it's not the best for me. But if you're not as tall as I am person, yeah, it's something to you could consider. But I think smaller than 32 is not the best for self-skating and for self-training. So I hope you can see the angle of the wheels. So we have the different wheelbase. The Pukas is a 20 wheelbase. The Chopu is a 19 wheelbase, the Padan Padan is a 18 and a half, and the Contiki is 17 wheelbase. All of them are 34 length deck, because a bit more. But as you can see, I put the back track all the same in a line, and then you can see the difference on wheelbase on the front track. A lot shorter, and you can see the progression here. So that's to show you how much difference it can be in between wheelbase, and again, Shorter wheelbase, very responsive on the pocket, a bit shorter carving style, longer wheelbase, a bit more stable, longer carving, and yeah, you can go really on the pocket. You need to push hard on the rails and go in a lower center of gravity. So now that I'm gonna try to show you a little bit of a surf skating. I'm gonna start with the Pukas, which is a 20 wheelbase, and then I'm gonna swap straight to the Contiki which is a 17 wheelbase. I'm gonna try to talk through my riding. Hopefully you, hopefully you can see the, the difference. So Pukas, longer wheelbase, longer carving. I can use my upper body nice and easy and right away I get in speed. But then remember, back knee inside, my upper body needs to face forward 45 degrees here and then I can start pushing hard. It's a longer wheelbase, so if I had to go hard on the race, I had to go low, back knee inside, low, and then I can go super hard on the race, make super tight turns. And yeah, if I want to get speed, it's, gonna, it's not going to be that responsive, like a shorter wheelbase, but if you go hard, you can get speed right away. Longer curves, lower center gravity, push hard, and then really low, back knee inside, you can do really tight turns and come off with speed with those turns and you can even release your tail if you want. Let's go for a Contiki, which is a 34 deck, 17 wheelbase. And it's gonna be a lot more reality. The two pumps, I'm already with a lot of speed. And we want a lot of speed, I can turn really tight and don't lose the tail. And that means that short wheelbase, really tight turns, Come up with speed, really responsive, 
But yeah, my carving is not gonna be, you, you can make it longer if you want. Just need to, your timing has to be a bit more slower on your upper body. But yeah, super tight turns, really responsive. <laughs> but you can lose your tail if you go too hard. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> so I had a release tail because of that, because I pushed too hard on a shorter wheelbase. So I'm gonna adjust my stance a bit lower. And yeah, I was trying to do a really tight turn backside, and then I don't lose my tail. So really tight turn front side, really tight turn backside, and come up with speed with a good open chest. And I hope you can see the difference between a 17 wheelbase and a, a lot longer 20. Both of them, I love them. You just need to change your style a little bit.